that happened last night, I guess, when you look back, what do you got to remember you think? Oh, the entire ceremony. Um, but at the end, I saw, I want to say, probably 15,000 people uh, stayed afterwards to kind of give RJ a, a little salute at the end and uh, the team picture with him in the middle. And, you know, it was a very emotional game for us. And um, being a Sabres fan since I was three years old, it meant a lot to me to, to see someone who really uh, propelled my love for the game uh, to be honored in that way. Um, it was just a phenomenal uh, night in general, and it was great that we got the win, but afterwards just the applause and um, the gratitude that everyone showed him was phenomenal. That moment, Alex, when, I mean, obviously it was organic, you and Cody asked, you know, escorting RJ onto the ice, what led, you know, what led to that? You know, what was going through your head in that moment when you guys walked him out? Um, I, I just heard someone yell, someone grab RJ or something like that, and I, I just, I was kind of closer, so I just was like, okay, I'll just go grab him. Um, it was uh, something that kind of just heat of the moment happened. Uh, I think it worked out perfectly. Um, the entire team with the saluting of the sticks and all the fans and stuff. It was it was emotional. It was a lot of fun. It was uh, it was just unbelievable. And he came and said some words to us afterwards. And I mean, he's a he's a legend. And just to be able to work with him for the short amount of time that we've worked together has been uh, special for me and I know special for a lot of guys in here. And um, it was just an unbelievable moment. Alex, for a lot of the fans, it was their first time back in this building for a long time. And you guys won the game, you played well as a team. Do you think maybe, because you, you guys, Kevin and you've all talked about you're going to have to earn the fans back. Do you feel maybe you showed some fans that, hey, we are for real and, you know, you can trust us? Yeah, I mean, I hope so. I think uh, we went in and we battled really hard. Uh, I thought we gave them a very entertaining game. I thought um, we played a very um, all-around good team game, I thought, from start to finish. I know it was only a one-goal game, but I thought we had the momentum for most of the game. We played a uh, a playoff-bound team uh, really well. Um, I thought we kept them on their heels, and we, we showed them that we're going to try to come in here and, and work work for each other and work for the city of Buffalo. And um, I, I really hope that went a long way with the fans, and I'm really excited for the future. You, you know what this building was like when you were a kid watching this team growing up. How much did last night not only make an impact on you, but how much can that impact guys like Krebs and Cousins who've never really seen this building that way? It gets them so excited. Um, I was lucky enough to spend uh, the beginning of my career in front of some sold out crowds. And uh, I, you, you really can't describe the energy that you get from crowds like that. And last night, it would have been really tough for us not to have some energy. I think everyone was going, everyone was playing well. Everyone had a lot of energy in the legs and it really does help. It helps um, maybe when you're not feeling your best and you get that crowd behind you, it gives you a little extra motivation, a little extra momentum and um, you feel unstoppable at times. And it's really, it, it goes to show how unbelievable of a fan base we have. And um, when they're coming here and supporting us, I think it's gonna be that much better. And some of the guys have moved around the lineup in games recently, and you guys have kept you know, kept producing winning. How significant is it that you guys have been able? You, know, you guys have reached a point as a team that you, you guys are just interchangeable, and can, you guys can do that in a game and still have success. It's not a, you know, it's not, it's not a demotion type thing. It's just you know, done, done, kind of just tinkering and doing the best thing. Yeah. No. I mean, um, obviously. Uh, we have 100% trust in Don, and uh, I thought he's done a really great job. And uh, I think last night uh, he wanted to shake things up and uh, I guess get a little bit of a, a, a jump out of some different guys. And um, I I think my first shift with Mitzi and Aspie, we got a, I got a point blank opportunity, and it was a great save by Saros. But 
I, I think that being able to have chemistry with multiple guys in the lineup is huge going forward because it's not only maybe you're having some droughts and uh, maybe the chemistry is not always there with certain guys, but also there's injuries and guys are going to have to move up and down the lineup. And uh, I learned that early on in my career um, in Vegas, being able to move up and down the lineup, I think really helped my team. And to have multiple guys that are able to do that, I think is huge going forward. My dad was there. My, my parents and uh, little sister were there. Um, they were super excited. They they loved it. Um, I'm sure my dad really enjoyed it too. Uh, like I said, the countless nights that we we spent watching the Sabers back home in um, Baldensville was uh, was really special, and he was really excited to be here. And um, so was the rest of my family, and they loved it. They loved seeing the full full um, the full capacity crowd here, and. Uh, it was it was a lot of fun. I got a lot of texts last night, and there was a lot of Sabres fans that uh, showed a lot of gratitude and uh, wanted me to congratulate RJ on their behalf. And it was just it was a really special night all around. And hopefully, going forward, we have a lot more special nights like that. Has your dad had the opportunity to meet RJ yet? No, no, not I don't believe so yet. I think my mom met Rick, uh, the dog there, so she was pretty <laughs> excited about that. Uh, the other RJ, but um, no. Um, so, yeah, he hasn't yet. Hopefully by the end of the season he's able to. Still with the COVID protocols and stuff, it's, it's uh, still a little strict and a little bit uh, a little hesitant on that. But, no, he'll, he'll meet him by the end of the year, hopefully, if not right after the season. He'll be very excited. Thanks, Alex. Awesome. Thanks, guys.